All right, today we're going to show you how quickly and easily you can program a Toro Evolution irrigation controller. And I'm simply going to start by entering the correct time and date. And you would do that by going to this help button up here in the top right hand corner. We'll select that. We'll toggle down on the little keypad here on your right. And we'll toggle that to where you see set time and date. And then we'll hit the select button, which is the circular button in the middle. We'll hit the select button again to highlight time and go in and begin manipulating the time. We're going to call this uh, 330, just for ease. We'll set that up to 3. Once you've entered that, you can toggle to the right and change that 1 to 30, 30 minutes. You hit select, which will move you to date. You can hit select again. That'll move you to the month, in which case you can hit the up arrow. We're going to make this June. Then we're going to hit the right arrow. We're going to make it June the 8th. We're going to hit the right arrow again. We're going to make that June the 16th, or the 16th, 2016, that is. And we'll hit select to complete that. So at this point, we've set the time and date properly in the controller. We can hit the home button and go home and make sure. Oops, we've got that set for the AM. So if we go back in and change that to set the time and date as a PM setting, it's really pretty easy to do. Just hit that and we've selected it and locked it in. So we go back to the home screen, we'll see it's 3.30 p.m. on Wednesday, June the 8th, okay? At this point, all we need to do is enter a little more information to set this up. So we'll go to the schedule button in the bottom left, hit the schedule button, and we need to fill these three fields out. You'll see water days, schedule starts, and zone run times. This won't take very long, just knock, uh, knock these off one at a time. We'll select the water days button, and what you see here is a graphic representation of the week, uh, Sunday through Saturday. And the water droplet indicates that you have, uh, a, you have the ability to water on that day. So what we want to do is simply change those from water droplets to dashes on the days we don't want to water. And so Monday and Thursday, I figured we would set up a, an irrigation program. So we'll, we'll uh, make sure the cursor's on Sunday. We'll hit the... Uh, We'll hit the arrow to change that from a uh, water droplet to a dash. Again, we want to water Monday and Thursday, so I'm going to change these one at a time. And go ahead and set it up. So no problem. At this point, we've, uh, we've correctly set that. We'll just toggle back to the left and then until it takes us back to this little menu. And we need to schedule the start time. We're going to just do one start time, nice and simple. Toggle over to off and then hit up and tell it what time you want it to begin irrigation. In this case, I'm going to tell it to start at 6 a.m. And once I've entered 6 a.m. in there, I can go ahead and hit the back button and get back out to that menu. And all I need to do now is hit zone run times. So I'll select zone run times. And I'm going to set each of these zones up to run 30 minutes. So I'll toggle over for zone one, hold the button down until I get to about 30 minutes. Right, and then I'll hit select. It'll move me to zone two. I'll hold that down. I'll put about 30 minutes on it, select, hold that down until I get about 30 minutes on it, select again, until I get about 30 minutes on it, now it's select. Okay, so I've got four run times in there. At this point, the irrigation controller is ready to rock and roll, and uh, you can review what's in it very simply just by hitting this review button. And it's going to ask you, do you want to review the schedule or do you want to review the rain sensor? And we, of course, want to review the schedule. So at a glance, you can see through the review feature that we're set to water on Mondays and Thursdays. We have a total run time of two hours between those four zones. It's set to start running at 6 a.m. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the daily run times by zone are set 30 minutes for each zone. So you know very quickly at a glance by pushing the review button, what's in the controller and what's set to run. It's really simple way to program the Toro Evolution controller. With, within less than five minutes, you've put a uh, program in this controller and very simple.